Hi guys, Reggie Gamer back and we're checking out a new Dawn cinematic League of Legends. Very, very exciting. All these cinematics are so bloody wonderful, guys. Now, this is significantly older than the other ones that we've checked out. I think that um, at this point, Get Jinxed is the oldest one that I've checked out. And this is even older than that, guys. And so... Well, I'm actually it's going to be quite different from the from, from the big hitters that we checked out so so far in like the call and um, warriors and awaken and stuff like that. But I've heard good things about this. It's definitely longer as well. It's like twice the length of those ones, and so very interesting to see what this is all about. Apparently, it has fox girl in it, so that's always good for me, guys. Ari, I believe is I, I believe I'm actually pronouncing that correctly. I should say now, guys, I'm going to be incorrectly pronouncing a lot of names in this video, so I apologize in advance. Right. Let's get this out of the way. So on my channel, guys, I like to go over my notes of the previous thing that we checked out at the start of the next video, which doesn't really make sense, but it's just how I do things. And so if you're not interested in hearing my waffle about the uh, the call, that is, that is what it's called, wasn't it? The call, yes. <laughs> I don't know why I forgot that. Um, then you can skip to uh, this point. And... Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. So, yeah, okay. You can skip to this point or you can click... Check the comments. There'll be a pinned comment which will help you skip forward to when we actually start reacting to A New Dawn. And so I made that a lot more complicated for myself because I now had to edit that in. But it's fine. It's fine. So, so uh, see you there if you're going to do that. But now let's go through my notes from the call. So I really appreciate the call, guys. And this is not going to make that much sense. But I really appreciate it as being, from what I gather... A, a cinematic that was designed for exclusively for people who are already deep in the lore. You know what I mean? So you take um, Awaken and um, Warriors into account, guys. I think you could show that to anyone. And they would understand largely what's going on. Who to side with, who not to side with. Uh, you know, the fact that there's a war going on, there seem to be these criminals trying to break someone out of out of prison and uh, uh, some kid stealing, uh, uh, seeing something that he shouldn't be, uh, only to be saved by the person um, who well, I was going to say got, she's gardening it, but I don't think she is gardening it. I'm sure there's a reason why uh, Kaiser is, is where she is, but we'll be talking about her later on in the blurb anyway. Um, so, like in Awakened, and, but, but the call... I mean, particularly, I mean, we'll get into it, but the path, Pathion stuff is, uh, you guys have described it to me. I, I've gone on several people's comments this time. Thank you so much for, for your for your help. Dark Agent, uh, again, I, 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 I took a lot of time reading, reading your wonderful breakdown of the characters as well. But from what I gather, it's not 100% sure... What is actually... Uh, we'll, we'll get into it, guys. Let's do it. Just try and do it in order. I need to keep this intro short, guys. I really do. So, um, should we go straight into my MVPs now? No, we'll do MVPs at the end. Right, so, we obviously start with Orin, uh, who I expected to be tiny. I basically thought he was going to be Heimerdinger size, uh, but apparently not. Apparently he's freaking massive. <laughs> so... But I, I did also theorize that it'd be wonderful if he just hangs out just forging all the time and doesn't really care about, you know, the outside world or anything like that. And apparently that is the case, guys. And I do a thing sometimes where when I find out something like really fascinating to myself, my face will just go. <laughs> I don't know why, but, but when I find out something which I really, which really makes me happy or something, then I pull this weird face. And when I read that, that is actually what Orin's dick gig is, that he just hangs out, just forging. Well, you know, he's not forging all the time, is he? But he's very reclusive, and he just keeps himself to himself. That made me so happy. That made me so happy to, to, to find out that that is actually the case. Apparently, the fact that he's actually forging something is actually bad news. Well, not mm, not bad news, but it's it's big news in the world of Rune Terror. Um, so, definitely looking in looking forward to learning more about the uh, him and the other demigods. His brother, uh, Volley Bear. I don't know if that name's meant to be intimidating, guys, but I don't find it that intimidating. But my God, I love Volley Bear so much. I mean, it's just the most metal moment of these trailers that we did with cinematics, I should say, sorry, so far is him appearing above the mountains. <laughs> amazing, amazing. And apparently they're brothers, so that's nice. Apparently they have a bit of a rivalry going on. 
Okay, here's where the pronunciations are going to go absolutely through the roof now, guys. Um, we we have Shejuani, Sujani, Sujani, riding a boar, uh, leading her people across the uh, the wintry mountains and so on. Uh, apparently, they're looking for a magical cauldron, which is actually made by Orin, which is wonderful. <laughs> There is another champion. I, I hate. Okay, I, I, I'll say this now. I find it confusing that they're called champions, guys, because in my head they're absolutely legends. I, I, I can't. I, so, so there is another legend in this pack, guys, because I did say, oh, are there any more? I, I don't think there are. There is one, guys, and there's it's, it's Olaf, and we see him a couple of times. There's one bit where a huge piece of ice comes crashing down off the mountain uh, and has a fight with his spinal column and somehow his spinal column wins and just cracks the ice in half which is wonderful so Olaf, Olaf seems like a fun player to uh the character to play as a berserker apparently apparently I was partly right when it came to saying that Silas's lot that this could be uh something to do with Silas's lot apparently they are fridge or Fri Fligorian, Fri Fligorian. Okay, I'm I'm gonna stop now. Apparently, it's 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 another part of the tribes that it's another wing of the of the tribe that that Silas apparently is is off with, and so I I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that. It's it, it, let's move on. Um, apparently Olaf uh, ha ha saw a prophecy where he f where um, where apparently he found out that he's gonna die peacefully in his sleep, and he finds that an absolute disgrace. I haven't seen much Star Trek, guys, but there is one episode where Worf—that's his name, isn't it? I really haven't seen much of it, but there's one episode where Worf like finds these people who die peacefully in his sleep, and he's and he's just like sickened by the idea of like how dishonorable it would be to die in that sort of way, which is amazing. There's a horrible joke. I'm not sure if I'm going to say it. So I, don't, I don't like saying horrible jokes on my channel, guys. But, okay. Skip forward if you don't like horrible jokes, guys. But, um, I want to die, uh, peacefully. Sorry. I want to die like my grandfather, peacefully in his sleep. Not screaming like the passengers in his car. Right, let's move on. Right, um, so apparently the bear dudes are... Zanes? Oh, my God. Apparently, that apparently they're not bears. Apparently, they are people who basically worship Volley Bear, and are and, and because of doing so, are, are be, have become these like half human, half bear dudes. I freaking love them. It does take them down a spot to the fact that they're not actually specifically champions or legends, in my opinion. Um, but they looked so cool. They looked so cool, and I'm not, that's not a joke on the fact that they're cold. Uh, but I absolutely love them. We then move over to uh, Talia the St Stoneweaver. Now, when I saw that name in the comments first, guys, I was thinking, hang on, I think I've seen that before. And and I have, guys. In in the description uh, that, that you guys are giving me for Yasuo, um, she, her name did come up before. And so, in a way, she it, he kind of, like, trained her a bit um, in, in the ways of uh, earthbending, I think is the term that you guys are using. Um... She's with Kaiser, who's also from the same area, which is very interesting, guys. I, I, it did seem a little bit odd that Kaiser, to me, was outside, because even just from the, the the Warriors trailer, I got the impression that she probably is a recluse. And apparently that is straight up the case, that she, that she is kind of persecuted against because of, of, because of um, you know, what, what she has become. But they're teaming up. Um, it, it, the creature that attacks them is called Rek'Zai. I should say I'm dyslexic, guys, and so reading these names is brutal for me. But Rexai, I'm guessing that's how you uh, pronounce the big creature that comes out of the ground. Now, I didn't think that thing would actually have a name, but apparently it's actually a, it, it is actually a specific character. Um, and yeah, it's, it's certainly gunning for Kaiser. Um, wonderful part of the tray. I, I I love the stuff with uh, Talia and uh, and Kaiser. Um, we then get on to the very confusing one now, okay? So, uh, Pantheon. Okay, so this is the thing. Because when I first posted it, I thought, okay, well, great. It's going to find out all these all these names and everything. And I thought, oh, okay, so so Beard Dude is called Arteros. Okay, great, right. Oh, I've got another comment. Oh, Beard Dude's name is Pantheon. And I thought, oh, God, here we go. <laughs> now, you guys have filled me in exactly what's going on with him. Apparently, his his name is Arch Ar Arteros. 
but he's basically been possessed by uh, by the a being. I don't know if the being is called Parthion or the being then named himself Parthion when in Archer's being. You know what I mean. Uh, and he's climbing the mountain, uh, which about uh, which is apparently something that Archer has has had done in himself. I'm not sure, guys. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. The stuff which is clearly just understandable to people who really are into the law. And that's what I really respect about the call. The fact that it, that, that it would cater for you guys. It's awesome. And it makes me want to learn more. I'm not sure if the mountain that he is climbing in the trailer is Mount Targon. I think it is. Because uh, Leona is at the top of it. And so that would make sense. What the gateway is, I'm not sure. Maybe that's where Parthian uh, over, uh, overtook Arteris. Um, it's it's fascinating, guys. But my God, is it a bit confusing. <laughs> um, and the most confusing part is when he gets knocked off the mountain. I'm not sure if it's actually 100% confirmed what actually happened there. From what I gather... <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. Apparently, it could have been a a a, a massive dragon in space <laughs> that fired shooting stars. Presumably not at him, but just at, at random, and one of them hit him. But Leona got bloody lucky there, didn't she? I did miss the fact that she actually just stepped out of the way of it. I assumed that it was something that was on Leona's side. Because I get the impression that, that the whole point is uh, Parthian is climbing this mountain and has to get to this ultimate goal. And it's all the other dudes and the owner's job to, to stop him from doing that. And so when, when he got knocked, on, not, knocked for six off the mountain and back down to the bottom again, um, I assumed that that was connected to the defence of Mount Targon. Um, I don't know. Maybe the dragon in space is defend... I don't bloody know, guys. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> you guys have to fill me in. I, I, I'm sure you, that, that, that you did. But you, you don't want to get so many comments, guys. It's hard to remember uh, all the details. And that is not a knock on it at all, guys. I thought it was fantastic. And I respect the fact that it had this sort of like deep lore aspect of League of Legends. That even some League of Legends... Fans wouldn't completely understand what's going on. The fact that that would be in a cinematic, which they knew was going to be so popular, I I love that. I have I've now heard about a character guy called Diana. I ain't seen nothing of her. Maybe she, maybe she'll be in this um, new dawn today. Um, but yeah, I appreciate all the comments on this, guys. I really do. And I don't want for a second to suggest that the that the Parthian. Leona stuff was too convoluted because I don't think it was. It makes me fascinated to find out more about it. Gotta say, guys, if I was to go on a character purely by design, purely by design, um, so taking Arcane out of the way, which is obviously how I first le learned about this universe and everything, you can check out my Arcane reactions on the channel if you so wish. Um, after Arcane, I was set in stone. I said that I would only ever play as Powder. And yes, I do call her Powder, guys. I bet, uh, uh, Jinx, of course. Because she is my favourite character from Arcane. Blooming. She's just, I freaking love her character. Uh, but if I was to go purely on appearance, I think it would have to be Leona. Leona looks so, I, I hope I'm saying her name right, but she looks so cool. She looks so cool. I presume that Diane is quite similar because apparently they they were basically blessed, I'm not sure of the right term, um, to represent the sun and moon. Um, and so I'd imagine Diana's outfit is fairly similar as well, maybe. But Leona's badass. I mean, really freaking cool. I've also got a little note here that apparently Parthian's uh, nickname is not nickname. His <laughs> nickname is uh, Parthian's uh, title is Unbreakable Spear. Disgusting. So there you go, guys. My MVP from the call. Now this is. This is a bit, right, let's just get onto it. It's obviously Bonnie Bear. It's obviously Bonnie Bear, guys. I'm freaking lightly new. And one thing which I did notice when I was first watching watching uh, the, the trailer is when Soji said Sujuani. Guy goes ah like that in, into the into the sky. She's actually doing it at Bonnie Bear, who's like like you know growling back at her. So metal, so metal. So Bonnie Bear was 
obviously destined to win this. Because of that, I do feel like I need to say a, a second place one, just to give it a little bit of air, you know? For me, the MV, the secondary, uh, okay, the, the MVP, if Volley Bear was not in this trailer, for me would actually be uh, Talia. Uh, because she seems like such a, I don't want to say underdog character, but she seems like the sort of character that I usually like really appreciate in, in stories and things like that. Um, the fact that, you know, she's not she's not like Draven who's like, you know, just like chilled out, like bored of his situation. It's so, it, it's, he's so privileged. Uh, uh, Talia seems like someone who's, who's had it very hard and and wants to make things better for everyone, not just for herself. So I, I think that she seems like a very cool character and I'd actually love to know more about it, even though I know about her stuff with Yazuo. Um, there is one bit where she's like looking down the pit and Kaiser like looks over at her and the way she looks, Talia looks up at Kaiser, it's like, it melts my heart. It's like, oh no, must protect. Um, yes, I would have jumped down into the hole for Talia there as well. Probably wouldn't have done quite as good as Kaiser did, I must admit, but yes. Uh, Talia, for some reason, um, I, I really appreciate from this trailer. And so those are my MVPs. Let me know your MVP for the call in the comments. You can let me know your MVP for New Dawn uh, cinematic as well. This has actually been longer than the last intro, which I cannot believe. Somehow, some way, that intro was actually longer than the previous one. I don't know how I do it, guys. I really don't. But now we got this. All I know is that Ari apparently is in it. And so let's check this out. Um, I think that someone mentioned that maybe Draven's brother is in it. Darius, right? We'll see. I'll keep an eye out for anyone who looks like him. Uh, but uh, either way. Uh, yes, let's get this started. A new dawn. Cinematic. Five, four, three, two, one. Looking forward to this. Okay. I'd imagine it's gonna be pretty different. That's loud. What? Leona and Ari? What? The girls are here, guys! Ladies, I should say. Okay. Okay. All the cool looking ladies are out. I doubt that's Diana. This is a new character to me, I'm sure. Wasn't expecting Leonis to be here. This is awesome. They're not friends, though. What is Ari's physical abilities? I don't think I've ever seen her do anything. Okay, big two of an axe. That's not Garen, is it? Uh-oh. That is Draven, right? So is this Darius then? Oh, maybe it is! I, ex I expected him to have a beard. I'm such an idiot. Oh, okay. I did not expect that. Are you kidding me? Oh? Was it just ketchup? Oh, now we're about to find out Ari's ability. <laughs> I do hope I'm saying her name right, guys. That's Doc. That's got to be Darius, then. Wow. I hope Leona is all right. I was not expecting Draven to actually be in this. Oh gosh, snare trap. That sucks. Is this? Are they all Noxian? These guys? Do you reckon? Oh, she doesn't look like a Noxian. Oh, maybe she is. Oh, denied, Draven. Oh, smoke grenade. Who could that be? Anyone we know? Oh my god, the wolf dude! I know there's several other characters- Oh my god, look at me! Oh my god, he is freaking awesome! See you later, Raven! I didn't expect- I didn't expect such violence in this war game. What? Just- Draven got denied! Okay, so I'm going to call this guy Darius, guys. This dude looks a freaking fire. Excuse the pun. Okay, poison ivy over here. Go on, Ari. Okay. Wow. Okay, so that's not... Obviously, that's not similar to... Uh, what, um... Karma's ability, obviously, just because it's green. I love this dude. It reminds me of the guy from Final Fantasy X. I have no idea. I cannot remember his name. 
Okay. <laughs> Let's ignore that bit. So cool. So cool. And we've already got on my MVP. I don't know. We, it's a long trailer. I can't believe what's happened to Traver, guys. Hello. Oh? Oh, we got someone else? Who we got? Oh, good golly. Is it a robot? Okay. Is that Flick, Flick's Crank's cousin or something? Oh, Ari. She can't catch a break, can she? Here we go, here comes Shotgun Man. That is a mean looking gun, but that is a mean looking robot. Oh, it was. I think it still is, dude. Don't get too comfortable. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, guys. I was not expecting so much blood. Well, this is a kid's game. I know it's not. Oh, Ari. Or someone else. Nice. Very nice. I'm talking about Karma again. Jeez. Into the fire pan and out of the fire. What? That is not that sentence. That is not that saying. Out of the frying pan into the fire. There we go. Oh, Ari. Oh, this guy's still going. Darius. <laughs> what is going on? Fantastic. That is the other, right? Okay, let's take him out. Let's take him out. Hello. Oh. Oh! Oh hell yes! You're out here. Go meet up with your brother, yeah? I can't believe what happened to Draven, guys! That's that shook me. Another one bites the dust. I approve of this pair, guys. This is awesome. Did the, did the other guy on that team not make it? I'm not, I'm not even, I'm so sure what even happened with him. That was excellent, guys. Oh, we've got a behind the scenes stuff for the new Dawn trailer. Now, oh, something's, ha something's happening behind these, but I can't see them because of YouTube being updated since eight years ago. That was excellent, guys. My God, that was brutal. For I can't believe I'm saying this, guys, because apparently he's not a nice chap. I did theorise that maybe he was a lo lovely chap on my uh, awakened tr uh, reaction, but what happened with this guy? I, 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 did, I got to admit, guys, I, I think I missed what happened with this guy. Plant lady did not, did not last long. Oh, hang on. I was going to make a joke. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Can you see this when I do this? You can! Can you read that? <laughs> I was going to make a joke, guys. Saying I bet this is a popular moment from this trailer. I then move my mouse over it and it says this is the most replayed part of the trailer. Let's move right away from there before I get kicked off YouTube. My goodness. I'm trying to see the bit with Bloomin' Draper getting slaughtered. Which was not something I was expecting. That is, that's got to be Draven, right? I don't remember the scars. And that's got to be his brother, right? Maybe it's not, guys. I'd imagine this guy is another Noxian. But I do think that you guys told me that, um, that Draven's brother is in this trailer. Unless it's Captain Shotgun, but I doubt it.
Oh my god! <laughs> That's upsetting! That actually, that actually makes me like Draven more somehow. Can't believe this. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I mean, this is a this is straight up gameplay, isn't it? I'd imagine this is what the game is meant to feel like when you're playing it. You know, this guy seems cool. I don't know if if maybe he is some a, a Pilty uh, creation. I would imagine this guy is definitely a Pilty. I always worry about saying Pilty because it seems like it's a derogatory term. But <laughs> um, obviously Echo says it in Arcane. I'd imagine this guy, unless he's a Noxian as well. I don't know how much storyline can really be taken into account on this guy. Because obviously when it comes to um, League of Legends... You know, you, you can play with Caitlyn and, and Jinx on the same team, right? There's no there's no restrictions of... It's not like you choose an area and then choose your squad from it, is it? And so maybe if this is straight up just like what the game is like, this guy um, could be a Noxian and still fighting Draven and, um, and who I believe is Darius. Um, but technology certainly seems to be a, a Piltover thing. And so maybe he is a Piltover guy. But maybe this robot dude is um, something to do with um, Zorn. Ah, oh, that's wonderful, guys. Oh, poor Ari. She had a rough time in this one, guys. But yeah, she had the last laugh with that wonderful freaking pose at the end. Make that a wallpaper, why don't you? I just I can't get over what happened to Draven. <laughs> I'm gonna be having nightmares about that tonight, guys. <laughs> awesome! This is absolutely awesome, guys. Uh, as always, let me know all the information you can in the comments, guys. I thoroughly enjoy reading it. This has got to be Leona, right? I, I part of me wants to look up what Diana looks like, but I don't want to though, just in case if we meet her in a future trailer. Uh, but I was not expecting her to show up, guys, especially after all the love that I gave her in my intro. I said how she's pro probably the coolest looking character that I've seen in League of Legends so far. Out of, out of everyone. And then she popped up straight at the start of this trailer. But then I wasn't expecting Bloom and Draven. This is definitely Draven rather than his brother because he has exactly the same weapons. Yeah. You know one really stupid thing? I haven't said this yet before, but I'm going to say it now. You know in the Waken trailer? This is, this is so dumb. And if any of you thought this, please let me know in the comments because it'd be nice to know that I'm not dumb alone. It's nice to be dumb in pairs, you know. But you know, oh, this is so embarrassing. But you know when he's like sitting there, with, like spiddling around the knife. I guess it's meant to be like a cheese knife. It looks more like a fish knife, but uh, because he has some like cheese and grapes on his plate, which he kicks off the balcony, which still upsets me. It upsets him as much as Draven in this trailer, quite frankly, when he kicks that plate off the uh, off the uh, thing. But he's like spinning it around and everything. And then obviously when he when, when we get down into the fight, he is then spinning around two knives as he is here. This is the embarrassing bit. I thought that I was the same knife. I thought it was one of these things where you spin it around and somehow when you spin, gravity makes it larger and then shrinks back down when it stops spinning. Or am I right? I don't think I'm right, but if I'm right, please let me know in the comments. So yeah, that's my embarrassing Draven fact. God, I can't, I can't believe what happened to Draven in this. My God, this guy's amazing. And like I say, he did remind me of that Final Fantasy X character. Don't watch this bit again, Veggie. Um, she seems very cool. Um, Mrs. Red Hair. Got some awesome knives. I presume she just got taken out. And yeah, then we have this with um, Darius. Oh, that's what happened to him. My goodness. Well, there you go. Well, either way, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. No, no, get, get it off screen. Get it off screen. There we go. There we go. Nice, beautiful picture. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, this was awesome. And it wasn't a music video. Now, I know the ones aren't technically music videos, but it didn't have... You know, the song wasn't the most 
There wasn't a song in the in the in the trailer. What I'm saying. Talking about songs, I think the next thing I will check out on the channel. You know what? I really, I really want to do a reaction to this. I really do, guys, because a lot of you guys said ah, that's no real point. But that just makes me want to check out more. So maybe we will do uh, the brink of infinity next time. Um, but uh, we got to do K die. Or KDA. I believe, I believe I think that's how it's pronounced. We have we have uh Bridging the Rift, uh we got the Tales of Rune Terror to get through, we got a whole bunch of stuff, guys, and so let me know what direction you want us to go in next, but we will be covering it all, guys. I know you know what, because I because I don't watch other people's uh, reactions to um to Arcane and League of Legends and, and so on. Um, some of the bloom amazing guys. Seriously, they, they break they break down like you know the characters in ways which I I absolutely could never dream of doing. Um, but I've noticed that some reactors um, do reactions to voice lines. I'm not sure if that's something that you guys are going to want me to do in the future, but I, I'm up for it. I'm going to probably get through the bulk of everything else first. Um, but either way, let me know where we want where you want me to go next. Oh, Jinx. She's still my favourite character, guys. Still my favourite character. I freaking love Jinx. I really do. Uh, you can find out why in my <laughs> in my arcade reactions, if you so wish. There's a playlist on the channel. Um, but either way, there's a live-action KDA one here. The Baddest Dance. It's a bit rude. <laughs> I'm sure they're trying hard enough. Okay, guys, with that stupid joke made, I'm going to leave it there. I really should be looking at these characters, guys, because I should be leaving it for... Oh, oh there, there's, there's Wolf Guy going, right? Oh, it's Walter Bear! And there's that guy again. Tales of Rune Terror! Okay, I'm going to stop there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spoil myself. Let me know where, where we go next, guys. I cannot wait to experience what's next. That's a terrible sentence, but I'm thoroughly enjoying this League of Legends stuff. And the reason why my videos are so chunky for it is because I'm enjoying it so much. So I'm sorry that if I'm not more... Um, more succinct with my opinions, but it gives me joy. It gives me a lot of joy. Please subscribe, all the good stuff. I'm Vigigamer, and I'll see you next time.